Hello. Today, we're going to use command line on an Apple Macintosh computer to format a USB drive. Now, for many of you, this may be the first time you've ever used command line to do anything with a computer, and that's okay. It might feel a little intimidating at first because it's just a different way of interacting with the computer, but I promise you, by the end of this semester, you're going to be a pro at this, and you're going to feel really confident using command line to do basic things with your computer. All right, with that said, let's go ahead and get started. One of the nice things about doing this with uh, a Macintosh computer versus a Windows computer is that it's actually a much quicker process. Um, I mean, it's it's lightning fast compared to if you watch the Windows video, you know how long this took with um, took on a Windows machine. Um, but at the same time, it's also easier to mess up because uh, the command structure is a little bit more efficient. We do things in one big step, and so it means you got to get uh, you know all those commands right for this to execute properly. So um, we're going to start without the USB drive plugged in. So uh, you know, keep your USB drive handy off to the side, but not, you know, not plugged into your computer. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open Terminal. Uh, terminal is a fancy name, um, you know, come from back in the day for command line. So if you ever hear anyone referring to Terminal, um, they uh, they mean the the command line interface. And so the easiest way to do that is to um, you know pop up here to this little hourglass up here, your spotlight search feature, and type in Terminal and hit return. And there we go. We have a terminal window open. Um, and this little cursor right here, this little little grayed out box, is where we're going to start typing commands. So the first command we're going to write is disk util list and hit return. And so you know a bunch of stuff's going to pop up. I don't I don't expect you to understand this. This is this is a beginner's course. Um, but uh, essentially, all this is showing you is you know the disks that are attached to your computer that your computer recognizes as disks, and what's going on within each one. And so you can see right now, I have two disks. I have disk zero, and I have disk one. Um, you may have a ton of disks. You may have ten disks, depending on if you have a lot of USB drives plugged in, or you have a lot of music players plugged in, or external hard drives. I mean, the list is endless. Um, anything your computer recognizes as a disk that it can write to is going to show up in this list. So you know, I only have uh, two, and now we're going to go ahead and I'm going to plug my USB drive in, and I'm going to run the command again. And I'm doing this because the only thing that's going to change is the USB drive, and therefore it'll be really easy for me to see what the USB drive is. So I'm going to run the command disk util list again, and now you can see I now, instead of showing two disks, I'm showing three. So I have disk zero. I have disk one, and now it jumps to disk three. So slash dev slash disk three, which is very clearly my USB drive. It's the only one that popped up new between those two um, disk util runs, and it's also closest in size to what we expect. So we have a you know 30 gigabytes here. This course we use 32 gigabyte USB drives. Um, you know don't. Be concerned that it's not the exact number. Not all that storage is available to you, and your computer will show you a different number. You know it. Um, so the point is to kind of just look for what um, you know that it's closest in size to what you expect, not that it's exact. And so 30 is pretty close to 32 gigabytes. It's the only one that was added between this new new disk util run, and so we can be really confident that this is my USB drive. Um, and this is really important because the next command that we point um, at that USB drive is going to obliterate it and rewrite um, a new file system on that USB drive. And so you want to make sure that you're pointing at the USB drive and not pointing at some other disk that, uh, that you want to hold on to. So um, the next command we're going to run, and we're going to run it all. It's, it's nice and consolidated. It's just one command that does all the stuff we need it to do. Um, but uh, you know, make sure to type it out carefully. But uh, it's disk util erase disk with a capital D. That's important. Um, FAT 32. And so a FAT32 file system is um, a really slow, old um, file system, but it's really compatible. It works really easily with lots of different tools and toys, and so it's really easy to work with. We, we could create any number of file systems on this USB drive. It's just FAT32 causes the fewest problems, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to name your disk in capital letters. It has to be in capital letters, otherwise it won't be willing to write a FAT32 file system to the disk, so I'm just going to use my last name uh, in all caps. And then we're going to write disk three. And so here's what's happening in this command. So we're running disk util. 
Um, we are erasing this disk. I mean, so we're, we're wiping it out. Um, we're hitting it, obliterating it. It's going to go bye-bye. Um, we are adding a, an FAT32 file system um, onto that USB drive. And uh, we are naming it Witten or whatever you want, as long as it's in all caps. And we're pointing this command at disk3 because we know that disk3 is our USB drive. And then we're hitting return. And it's going to do its thing. And it's going really fast because this is nice on a Mac. This, if you if you watch the Windows video, you'll know that this took a, this was a three hours process on uh, on the Windows machine. This is nice and fast here on the Mac. We know that this is done, and this is important because you're going to see this in in you know other times when you use terminal. When the command prompt pops back up, that's when we know we are done. So um, this command is nice because it at least tells you that it finishes a race. You know, future commands we're run uh, that we're going to run don't necessarily tell you if they work. Sometimes it just pops back up that uh, that command prompt again, and that's how you know um, that it's that it's completed. And so now we are um, we're done. And so we're going to go ahead and we're going to run um, you know disk util again just to kind of see what's going on. Disk util list. And you can see that we have a you know drive now in disk three. We have a drive named Witten. Um, looks good. It recognized, um, and uh, you know it's mounted just right. And so, you know, I want you to now just take a screenshot of this and and send it to me. And uh, congratulations if this is the first time you've ever used Terminal to uh, do anything with your computer. That's fantastic. We're going to be doing a lot of this semester. And you know, I know that at first this can feel a little weird because it's just again a, a different way of interacting with a computer. But um, by the end of uh, the semester, you're going to be great at this, and you're going to feel really confident in using command line to do basic things on your computer. This tutorial was prepared by the Center for Cybersecurity and Privacy Protection at Cleveland Marshall College of Law, Cleveland State University.